Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make these delicious, amazing, vegan jalapeno poppers. And I also show you how to make this vegan ranch, which is life-changing. Also, as you'll see in this video, my blender, it was $20, so I don't blame it for being horrible, but my blender's really bad. If you guys have a high power blender at home like a Ninja or the Blendtec or a Vitamix or whatever, let me know down below how you like it because I am going to be looking for a new blender around Black Friday. I'm kind of leaning towards a Ninja because they're not too expensive, but let me know what blenders you guys like. If you guys want to see how to make these vegan jalapeno poppers, just keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna start with the breadcrumbs here. I just have some panko breadcrumbs. By the way, uh, double check breadcrumbs at the store because I was trying to buy just regular breadcrumbs, like not panko, and every single one I looked at had eggs and milk in it, which I was very confused by. But this one, panko, specifically this one, there's like four ingredients in it and you can read all of them and there's no eggs or milk. So I have maybe half a cup, half to three-fourths cup. I'm going to put some nutritional yeast in there, some nooch, probably like a tablespoon. You know what? I think I should make more, actually. So let's make that a full cup, cup and a quarter or so of the breadcrumbs, and then another half tablespoon of the nooch. Let's go for about a teaspoon of some salt, e maybe half a teaspoon, actually. Some black pepper, some garlic powder, about a half teaspoon, and some onion powder. That's crunchy. That's okay. I'm also just going to add a sprinkling of Old Bay seasoning because I really like it, but you can omit this step. Right, and then I'll just mix it all up with a fork and try and break apart those onion powder clumps. All right, now that I conveniently have this flax egg prepared, I'm going to make the wet batter part. This was three tablespoons of flax meal and six tablespoons of water, and I mixed it up like you do a flax egg and just stuck it in my fridge for a few minutes. Everything is getting seasoned around here, okay? Well, I'm just going to add a pinch of salt to that. Some more onion powder. Okay, this is the best tasting onion powder I've ever used. It's by Frontier Co-op, but it literally clumps so bad and it makes onion powder not very convenient. Some more garlic powder. Okay, so overall I probably put about a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic, half a teaspoon of salt, and about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a teaspoon of soy milk. Okay, <laughs> bouncing back to the breadcrumbs, I just went into my pantry and found some cornmeal, and that sounded good to me, so I'm going to put about three, no, about two tablespoons of cornmeal into my breadcrumbs and mix it up. Make that three tablespoons. Okay, back to this flax egg mix. I'm gonna add like two tablespoons of flour just to make it somewhat like a batter. <laughs> One and a half more tablespoons of soy milk. Guys, I'm making this up as I go. It could turn out and taste like crap, but I don't think it will because I usually don't have that happen to me. So I already prepped all these jalapenos. I just have five jalapenos here that I cut in half, took the inner rib and the seeds out, and that's it, and I cleaned them. Now I'm going to stuff these with cream cheese. I made this cream cheese, and it's from the Non-Dairy Evolution Cookbook. It is scary accurate how close to cream cheese this smells. I mean, honestly, it pretty much tastes like cream cheese to me. I don't even like cream cheese, but you can use any store-bought cream cheese if you like Tofuti or the Trader Joe's or whatever. Any vegan cream cheese will work. All right, so they're all stuffed with the cream cheese. I'm just gonna put them in the freezer for like five minutes just to kind of re-firm up the cream cheese since this is a cultured cheese. There's no carrageenan or tapioca flour or anything like that in it to like bind it. So it does start to kind of get melty. So I'm just going to freeze it for a few minutes to firm it up. So now I am going to be dipping the jalapenos into the like flax egg 
mixture into the breadcrumbs and making sure that it's as sealed as possible and then just put it back on here. And I have my oven preheating to 350 right now. All right, I'm just gonna freeze these again for maybe 10 minutes or so just to once again chill the cream cheese and then I'm going to stick them in my 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes and then I'll check on them. All right guys, so while those are baking, I'm going to make my vegan ranch, which is the best ranch I've ever had. If you miss regular ranch from like chilies or horrible restaurants that serve disgusting food, but it's so good. Um, this is basically my copycat recipe of that, like a Chili's type brand. So right now I'm trying to make some cashew sour cream really quick because I don't have any vegan sour cream on hand. You can use store-bought sour cream that actually works better, but we're improvising today. So since I have a shit blender that doesn't actually work very well, I'm going to add a quarter cup of mayo to this. There's about a quarter cup of the cream in here, cashew cream, it's not really blended yet. But I'm going to add a quarter cup of mayo to it to help it. All right, now because my blender really needs assistance, I'm going to add a tablespoon of buttermilk. And as you guys have heard me say already, I really don't like doing extra dishes. So I poured some soy milk into a tablespoon here and put a couple drops of apple cider vinegar and let it curdle. We're gonna put that in my blender. All right, honestly, since my blender just, it just really needs help. I'm just gonna put everything in here and just blend it up. Usually I don't have to blend it because I have pre-made sour cream, but I don't today. So it's basically a quarter cup sour cream, quarter cup mayo. I've put a tablespoon of buttermilk in there. And now the secret ingredient is two tablespoons of pickle juice. I don't care what your stance is on pickles. You need to put two tablespoons of pickle juice in here because that is the secret that makes it taste like ranch from restaurants. Dill pickle juice, not like bread and butter pickle juice. Please don't put bread and butter pickle juice in this. All right, quarter teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of dried parsley, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, Sorry that this is disgusting looking, but I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna put a little crack of some black pepper. And I'm gonna put a dash of dried dill because there's not a lot of dill in that pickle juice I was using. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend this up and I'll let you know if it needs any adjustments. So that's what it looks like. It is literally perfect. It is so good. Like, I'm telling you this is the best ranch. It tastes so good. It's very similar to Chili's Ranch. And I keep saying Chili's because I literally worked there for five years and their ranch is like the best ranch at a restaurant ever. And I just really needed it in my life still and this is vegan and way better. All right guys, so I ended up cooking them for about 35 minutes on 350 and then I just put them in a 400 degree oven for 10 more minutes. So it was a total time bake time of 45 minutes, but I think they look really good. They smell really good. None of the cream cheese melted out like I thought it would. And I did take all of these off to get like the excess crumbs off so it looked nicer. Um, excess crumbs off the parchment paper and like the breading held up really well. Like it's not just coming off. So I'm really excited. So I just plated up the poppers. I have some of the vegan ranch that I made. And then I also just made some sriracha mayo. And these are ramekins from Chili's because like I said, I used to work there and I'm trying to make this feel a little more bar appetizer friendly. I'm going to try it by itself first and just see what it tastes like. I really hope they turn out good. I'm curious to try these with cheddar because I also like cheddar stuffed jalapeno poppers. So I would just have to make a cheddar for that, but I might do that someday. These are really good. And I'm shocked that they came out so good. I honestly kind of thought like the breading would be coming off, but it didn't. I'm pretty proud of myself. I feel like I'm like, this is the eyeshadow I'm gonna be using today. <laughs> All right, let me know if you guys try these. Um, try them with cheddar too, because I forgot that there's cheddar jalapeno poppers too. You can do cheddar also. There's this cheddar aquafaba recipe I've made that 
is pretty spreadable that I think would be good in there. Um, I think it's made by Avocados and Ales, I think it is. That was, I mean, it's not the best cheese recipe I've ever made, but I can see the texture of it working really well in these poppers. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing if you have. Leave uh, blender recommendations down below because I really need to upgrade. And I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, bye.